Now I'm going to adjust the height of the burette again. It seems I have adjust the direction of this clamp. Next, we are ready to do the titration. When you do titration, you want to make sure you are comfortable. So I need a chair behind me. Now I'm very comfortable. At the very beginning of the titration, you can add the sodium hydroxide faster. When we add sodium hydroxide, you can see the pink color appears, then disappears very fast. If the color disappears very fast, that means you can use the current speed. The color appears and disappears almost immediately. Follow the progress, the color stays longer and longer. That means you need to adjust the speed to slower. Right now you can say the color stays much longer. Now we need to add drop by drop. This is the most important part. If you screw this up, you have to start over. Right now, you can say it stays really long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, take this out. Let me turn off the stirrer first. And then make sure if there is a tiny drop here, I'm going to let it touch. And then I'm going to use my wash bottle to rinse this down. You can say, Right now, I need to add half a drop each time. You may wonder how to add less than a drop. Look at what I'm doing. Turn the wheel very gently, very slowly. You say a drop is forming but it's not falling off. Don't tap the beer red. Do this. Again, I use this wash bottle to rinse this down. I want to emphasize this is the most important step for this whole experiment. If you screw this up, you have to start over. Now you can see the color is light pink. So at this moment, if you're not sure if this is the end point, uh, you have one solution to do this. Instead of to consider this is the end, you take the reading right now. I'm not that tall, so I need to take this off from the stand. And then let my eye 
to be the same level as the bottom of the meniscus. So right now, uh, my reading is 11.9. I would say between 11.9 and 12. So I would say 11.91. Remember, you always need to estimate another digit. Uh, let's record the data immediately. The volume of sodium hydroxide solution we use is 11.91. As I said, you're not sure if this is the real endpoint. So you want to add another a quarter of a drop to say if it becomes too pink. Let's try it now. And then I want to rinse the wall. So make sure every drop of sodium hydroxide is going down to the solution. Uh, I think this color is, uh, is maybe a little bit too pink, so I will keep the original reading. If it's not too pink, I'm going to read the current reading and replace the previous one. For any experiment, including titration, you have to make sure your experimental results is repeatable. In other words, between two trials, the percentage of difference between the two should be less than 0.5% for a professional person to do this titration. But as for our class, if your percentage of difference between the two trials is less than 3%, I will take it. Let's say how many milliliters we use for the second time. This is 10.35 milliliters. We need to record the number immediately. It's 10.35 milliliters. 